Ronnie and teen girl honor killed by father for quote unquote laughing with boy at park. On June 27th, Ariana uh, Lashkari, a 16 year old Iranian girl, was murdered for bringing quote unquote disgrace to the family after she was allegedly seen laughing with a boy at a park. Ariana wanted to live without restrictions and fled to her paternal grandmother's home after a heated argument with her father. The father, Mohammed Khazim Lashkari, took a shotgun with him and went to his mother's house to look for Ariana. When he arrived, he became enraged and shot his daughter in the chest. He contended that it was not his intention to kill his daughter. Murders com committed by fathers and paternal grandfathers in Iran are not punishable with retrit retributive justice or kios or no no ki kisos under the Islamic Penal Code, as Iranian law considers Kisos. him. Sorry. Kisos, kisos. Go ahead. I can't say that. Um, uh, so. I'm going to start. Murders committed by fathers and paternal grandfathers in Iran are not punishable with retributive justice under the Islamic Penal Code, as Iranian law considers him to be the quote unquote owner of the victim's blood. If demanded by the family, perpetrators may only be sentenced to three to 10 years in prison and pay blood money. Since the pandemic outbreak, honor killings have increased in different regions of Iran, according to the head of uh, Rehane Women's NGO. About 60 women have been victims of honor killing in Iran over the past two years, including some victims as young as 10 years old. Yeah, the, uh, I think more and more fathers in Iran are, because of this news, realizing that the punishment for killing your daughter is not very high in Iran, right? So basically the door is open to the fathers to take revenge if they want to, right? Like if this, if this was his son that he would be so much in trouble, right, with the law. Like, he would be, like, the, you know, but this, he could be out of jail within three years, right? And many people will take make the calculation, are like, hey, cleaning the honor, um, like, fix, you know, basically. By the way, the way that in Iran they think about it is not, like, uh, upholding the honor, is the, the way that they're saying is defending the qayrat, okay? Like, you're like, so it's basically the same thing, right? So, but effectively comes with like maintaining the honor of, of a man. As a man, my daughter just going out and just being being like this, my honor has been challenged. And it's so important for you to show that you're a real man, a man, man, or like a manly man that doesn't let your woman just loose like that. Okay, so this is this is um the idea is like a man who his daughter or his sister or his wife is just goes and does these things freely is a man that is not a real man because he doesn't have a grip or will the woman in his in his uh, you know it's basically mother sister daughter um yeah or, or niece as well but if you for, if you know that the punishment is only three years you might make the calculation that it's worth it it's worth um i will come out uh, this meme proving to the world that I am still, because it's such an important, this is like toxic masculinity to the max. Okay. Oh it's yeah. Your yeah. This is your, your manliness. Okay. Your manhood or whatever you want to call it is the most important part of your identity in, in a way that if it's challenged, you are crushed emotionally, like the emotional damage uh, that society has like brainwashed you to accept the emotional damage that for that being challenged is so massive that no pain uh, even compares to it, right? Not even the pain of losing your own daughter compares to the emotional damage that your in society, your manly, your manhood, your manliness has been challenged. Okay, so to fix it, you basically compare the cost of like the emotional damage for losing my daughter plus the emotional damage for being in jail for three years doesn't add up to the emotional dam damage that I would get from having my manhood challenged like this. So you make a calculation and you make a decision. And unfortunately, in an Islamic decision, uh, in an Islamic society, the decision has been, the more often is made in the direction of like killing. Um, because again, there's, to be, to, to be honest, there's nothing in Islam that endorses this, okay? There's nothing in Islam that says that, hey, you can kill your daughter, okay? This is haram in Islam, okay? Um, however, Islam is still responsible because it's Islam that does three things. Islam is that it promotes the culture of qayrat or honor culture, right? 
um, it is in Islam, it promotes the uh, idea that women should be controlled and just loosely, just being loose like this and available and free is co considered extremely shameful. Um, and it's also Islam that tells men that they have the right to punish women physically and that they own women and this is their property, okay? Um, so even if it, in, there's no, in Islam, there's nothing that says that you could actually go kill your... And, oh, actually the fourth word. In Islam also t considers the punishment for killing your own daughter very, very low. So the punishment for that is low, okay? So all these things for combined, even though Islam doesn't endorse this, it creates an environment where these things are more likely to happen. Is that Kali that I hear crying? I think Kelly wants me to pet her. And she's yeah, she sounds like she wants attention. I can hear her. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, so one thing that I thought was interesting and important to touch on is this whole retributive justice, or I can't say it right. I can't do the Q sound right. The guesas? That's guesas. Us. Guesas. That's us. I can't. Sorry. Um, because so one thing I know about this whole structure of retributive justice is that if you have a family member who will forgive you for the crime that you've committed, like the retributive justice can be forgiven or like the blood money that you have to pay will be forgiven. But the problem with this is that in instances like this, that forgiveness power or whatever falls upon the mother. And so the chances of this girl actually getting justice for her own murder is so little because when the power then falls on the mother the, to then hold her own husband or father, you know, accountable for the murder that he committed within their own family, like oftentimes these men are just forgiven. Yeah, because I mean, especially if the so mom agrees incentives. with the decision of the father. Something like if, if the father goes after the daughter and the mom like, yeah, go get her. Our daughter is loose and doing like like be a man, be a real man and do something about it. And the husband goes and does something about it, and the woman supports it. If the if the mother supports it, then the man is like pretty you know in the clear. I like, didn't even mean it like I, that. I'm saying what if the what if the, the mom actually doesn't support it, but she's going to be pressured into forgiving her husband anyways. Yeah, or she would feel no, like, emotionally inclined to do that anyways. It's a spectrum. It's it, you could yeah. you basically it depends on the mother, okay? It could go all the way from like I want you to suffer for the rest of your life or the mother could be like I hate you for doing this to our daughter. But I love you and you're my husband. So, mm -hmm. and I cannot live without you. So, maybe I'll forgive you a little bit. Okay. Also, when you pay the blood money, it comes in, it's coming out of the family. So, the wife is like, I don't want this punishment to yeah. be high. This is my money. <laughs> right. So, it doesn't make any sense. Right. But also, it could go, but it could also sometimes go uh, to the point of not only forgiving, but actually, like, why would I forgive him? He didn't do anything wrong. I endorse what he did. Like, it could go mm -hmm. all the way like that as well. So, there's that. I mean, well, this whole, like, Islamic concept of, like, retributive justice is so barbaric anyways, because they literally will blind people in Iran and amputate their hands and fingers in, as a form of retributive justice. It's so barbaric. <laughs> um, like, yeah, so now the justice system will proceed to blind you since you accidentally blinded someone. It's crazy. It's an um, eye for literally an eye for an eye. It comes this biblical yeah. justice. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Doorknob head is saying one promotes honor culture. Two promotes female control. Three tells me they can physically abuse women. Four low consequences for killing your daughter. <laughs> zero for zero. Look at you, Islam. <laughs> um, so, yeah. um, okay. There's some other comments. Shriash is asking a good question. This is actually what shocked me about this news to begin with. He's saying, how the F is laughing dishonorable? That's what shocked me about this story is the standard of laughing with a boy at a park is worthy of being murdered. Like, Armin, take us, put on your put on your Gerati hat and explain this to us. I mean, okay, so okay, so for even even it's not just laughing with boys, even just like laughing, like giggling in a fair Okay, so for example, we have had recently a religious Chaduri woman on TV in Iran, okay? And he was um, enjoying a, a very religious pro ayat, pro the Mullah's regime song, like uh, she was shown. And she just went like, um, I don't know, it's called Salam Farman there, right? And the way she did it 
was kind of like smiling and looked cute when she did that. Okay. And people were outraged just because of that. They were like, why is she being, why is she smiling in a, in a such a cute way on TV? That's like outrageous. A woman shouldn't do that. If she's a religious woman. Okay. So <laughs> how like, dare you like, enjoy the old propaganda like, oh, we made for your government? <laughs> she was like, she was like, hello, hello, and she song? was like this. And she was like cutely smiling. I was like, oh my God, that's outrageous. Why are you being Whore. so flirtatious? She was people were accusing of, people are, were accusing her of being flirtatious with the Supreme Leader just because she was listening to a song and smiling about it in that way. <laughs> so, Holy so I mean, the women sh like this is this might sound as as if I'm exaggerating, okay? But women just laughing is impolite do you know what i mean it, especially like for example even even among this is so ingrained in society that even among some liberal society like you see like you go to parties right and men are like telling jokes and they're laughing out loud okay but all of a sudden for the same joke if the woman like the woman can be like haha that's funny okay but there's something wrong. It seems something wrong if you see a woman just laughing out loud in a party. People are like, is she crazy? Oh, you mean like, how I do? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. People are like, why is she laughing over. like that? Like the standard, like, and the thing is that this is so unconscious. Like, people don't even notice that they have this double standard. Like, if you see, like, a, especially like a pretty woman just laughing out loud, people have been like, there's something wrong with her. Why is she laughing like that? Like, uh, as, as if. <laughs> no, but also just like hanging out. So, this woman, like, just hanging out with the boys and being like la laughing with them is kind of like people see it as you like flirting with them. Like, because You're, like, laughing inviting is. male attention. Yeah. Yeah. Like, You're just like giggling it. with the boys and stuff. Like, what the? Like, people, it's religious or traditionalist uh, parents would. This is. Basically, you just basically had sex with them. That's basically you just had sex with them in public. It's literally the same Thanks, thing. Thanks, you're pregnant now. <laughs> <laughs> and in public, the point is like it's in public. Mm. Like people, the neighbors and people you know, your coworkers, people are are seeing your daughter just just mm -hmm. chilling with the boys and you know and laughing with them. And people be talking. People are like, have you heard about her, their daughter? Like, yeah, she's just hanging with the boys in the park all oh the time. God. She's one of those sluts, isn't she? Like, so I'm getting so the, triggered right now because of stuff <laughs> I've been through. <laughs> <laughs> so she, the father is like, yeah, like, like losing, probably is like losing the the idea of other people noticing that the the woman that is supposed that belongs to you is just like you can't control her, and she's just. If, she ha she has the audacity to dishonor her father in this way that she knows that other she knows that other people can see her. She knows that people are going to talk about his daughter speaking in public, and she's still doing it. Like she doesn't even care, right? So I think like the father must have been fuming over all of this. So mm -hmm. I don't. Know. By the way, I don't endorse any of this. I'm just trying to put you in the mindset of yeah, somebody yeah. who thinks like that. The Gatorati mindset. Yeah. Um, Gossam is saying she had shared a post on Instagram a few days before that said, my father, my world. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, and Gossam is also God saying, according God. to some news agencies, she had a boyfriend and her father didn't like that. I don't know if this is true because I haven't seen this report in the English media that I found about the story, but that's definitely a possibility. Um, Secular Rarity is making a good point. He's saying, damn, imagine being literally against smiling and still thinking you aren't the baddies. <laughs> yes. By the way, to, to be to be honest, like this is shocking to most Iranians. Like I'm not mm -hmm. trying to, to I make it seem like this is happening every Thursday in Iran, but it is increasing in numbers. Okay, like in Iran, um, this is becoming uh, more common, and it might. I don't know why, because the people on average are becoming more liberal. But I think is it more, more common or that it's actually just being reported more? I've heard that it's becoming increasing in number. I might be wrong about this. But Gossam, maybe you could uh, comment on this um, in the live chat. But it might be that more fathers are noticing that hey, the mm -hmm. punishment for this is kind of mild, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. Like, like I think like that might be the reason. I don't know what the reason for the in increase in numbers are. Forever Stormy is saying Islam only allows the bitch face. 
No, and also, be, uh, no, no. To be <laughs> honest, the way that they describe it is like elegant, proper woman, right? You know, that a, a woman because mm -hmm. women are just uh, most women are emotional and they're not control in control of their feelings. And if you just see a proper woman, a proper woman it understands very she contained. Should, yeah, she's just not gonna just let loose and express all her emotions like in public like that. Okay, so that's that's the way that they see it. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah. Forever Stormy is also asking the important question. So is guys laughing with each other gay sex? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. So crazy. Okay. This is why we firmly promote the be gay or anti lifestyle, the people without honor. Be gay yes. of the world unite. Yeah, actually, uh, be, okay, let me actually tell you the other side of this, okay? There, there's a lot of Iranians on social media who try to challenge this, okay? So there are hashtags going in Iran for people who, like, are of, offended by the fact that these people are offended by girls laughing, apparently. And um, they, their hashtag that people are saying they're proudly without honor, right? Like, they're saying, I'm without honor. Like, I have no honor. Like, if this is what it means to have honor, consider me with, I'm, I, I announce myself as somebody who doesn't care about their, their honor, right? So yeah, bigirat. Like I'm proudly bigirat. Bigirat. B means without. Qirat means like something. Closest thing translation would be honor. So bigirat means without honor. I yeah, I am proudly bigirat. Exactly. There you go. Um, we we right. are basically atheist republic. I feel like is the world world central like bigirat army. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, honestly. <laughs> Honestly, like the Persian side of our atheist republic, so we have. It's Persian on a different well. level of degeneracy. I think I think we have become too bigerat, okay? Because people are out, so people are competing with each other. People are like, I would happily let any man have as much sex with my wife as possible, okay? Like this is liberalism, okay? Like come have sex with my wife, like guys, this come is, come like, with my wife. <laughs> <laughs> like yeah like yes we're liberals okay like like <laughs> so like this is not what we mean but like but like it's it's very it's interesting how you see the reaction to this um people are trying to out compete like out liberal each other each other <laughs> to, to... <laughs> i don't know it's kind of funny uh, like... <laughs> i ask you to have as much sex with my wife as you want <laughs> yeah, to like, show you know, i am not no, but, but but like there was one guy that was saying that i will tell him like okay the the idea is that it's not your wife is not like the idea that we're actually trying to promote is not like oh they're they don't, they're saying don't have sex with my, my wife so the opposite of these evil islamists is like come have sex with my wife please sir have sex with my wife like like no the idea is like <laughs> the idea is like your wife is not your property <laughs> to, for you to decide <laughs> these things <laughs> you're like you're close <laughs> Oh my god, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my god. But everything is today, like not everything, but a lot of things are today extreme, you know what I mean? Like everyone's mm -hmm. like the one like a little reactionary. Are... It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Speaking of reaction re reactionary secularity saying, do we need to step it up on the English side of atheism? <laughs> yes, guys. <laughs> like, where's the degeneracy? Like, guys, the degen like I'm actually surprised. Like, I am. So, for example, we want to challenge people's taboos on the Persian side, right? And I'm like, uh, we had a show recently saying, like, what's wrong with prostitution, for example, right? We had the show on the Persian side, right? And I was, like, expecting some people, like, the people were coming, they were too extreme on the liberal side. They're like, they're, like there's one person after other, like, on the Iranian on our Persian show, like, they're coming out and trying to argue why there's absolutely nothing, nothing harmful about prostitution. I'm like, okay, it's a job. Like, most jobs have some cons to them. Like, there are problems with prostitution. It cannot be, like, no problem. Like, I was, I thought I would be taking the side of being, like, promoting, like, the idea that sex works needs to be not taboo and then people challenging me, but I ended up taking the opposite side because so many people on the Persian show were trying to convince everybody that there's absolutely nothing wrong with it, that I had to, like, well, actually, there's some evidence that this is dangerous, that, you know, you have to, it's more dangerous, you know, than other jobs, like, 
Some people don't know what there they're getting into. There actually should be some restrictions, maybe? Distributed. Yeah, like, it's not as, like, okay. Like, yeah, okay, so the taboo should be breaking, but it's not as okay as you're making it sound like it is. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, the degeneracy, like, I'm really proud of our Persian community that they're becoming more and more de- degenerate by the day, but I think we should put a <laughs> lid on it at some point. Like, we should, like, there should be, a, there should be some limitations here. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh my god yeah yeah, yeah. Okay, now okay. as i as you've been making me laugh i'm thinking about how someone out there thinks i'm a whore because i'm laughing at you because you because you make because you're funny mm, yes just be proud of it just take it just own yeah. it it's like yeah i mean we're all stimulated by watching you laugh at it. like we all like <laughs> <laughs> oh my it's god yeah, like guys, admit it. Just tell me in the live chat. Like this is too much. Like I don't, I can't even <laughs> concentrate anymore. Oh my god. Okay, moving um, on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know, like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.